you're done. So, Thank you. Like I said, if you have any issues, if you need a bolster, just let me know. There's literally one just outside. But okay. essentially for this therapy or this, um, I'm going to call it modality, I just like to have people rather just be straight because obviously bending the knees will distort the spine or create mm. sort of a difference in the muscle um, positioning that can obviously give mixed results. So maybe maybe I'll just sort of start from the from the beginning just to give some mm, context. So, um, so kinesiology was a modality that's created by a chiropractor. So it's really quite nice that in the alternative world, you know, chiropractic has a name for itself in terms of Western medicine. Yeah. Um, and I just like to say that for me, out of everything I've studied, because I do quite a lot of things, that he's roped in almost, I would say, every alternative medicine therapy into this. So this is what makes it quite powerful that we're just using your body, but yet we can ask the body so many different things. Mm. Um, from Western medicine, we've got over 600 muscles, but in this we predominantly using your muscles to ask the body questions, but we use 47 different muscles. Um, mm. So I always say it's quite interesting that he's, um, so Dr. Goodhart, what he did is he said, okay, just for example, your pec muscle, mm -hmm. and then you worked in Chinese medicine. So if this is not in balance, mm. then this relates to your stomach. Your yeah. leg will be your small intestine. or okay. So if we talk about your quads, there will be small intestine. Your fascia lata will be your large intestine. So for example, today you've said, okay, I've got some gut things I want to look at. My brain goes, okay, we're gonna look at those kind of muscles. Usually when you can come for like a first time session, we have something called what we call a wheel balance. So you can look at just the full spectrum of key 12 muscles that go all over the Chinese medicine, um, five elemental circles. So it'll be like fire, wind, water, metal, earth, that kind of thing. So, mm. But I think for today, um, from your session, I think it will be good to look at digestion, you can look at some food, um, and maybe your endocrine system to look at your hormones, which I should look about um, immune system as well. Mm. Um, so what's really cool, so when I say every alternative medicine therapy, we can talk structure, we can talk emotion. So we've got homeopathy, we've got cranial, which is head work, energy work, um, then acu sorry, acupuncture, but Chinese medicine, so we can understand different points. But another useful thing is when using the body, mm. we're using the body's energy, the body's circuit, we can put on what we call vials. And what this is, is like a quantum physics simulated frequency of something. So I've got boxes for reproductive mm. hormones, gut, parasites, um, heavy metals, um, vitamins, minerals. So I've got tons of boxes and I've also got food simulated ones. So for example, what, and probably this is ties in because I work mainly with gut and health and digestion. Mm. I've got lots of things to do of parasites, common ones, leaky gut, candida, H. pylori, these kind of things. Mm. So how this modality works, when I say we're working with your muscle mm. and anything in alternative, we want it to be in balance, right? Mm. So you can have something too excess or you can have something too little, right? And we want to get mm. it in balance. What people might confuse when they come to this is when I say I want to test your muscle, I'm looking for a response, mm. not for it to be strong. Okay. So it's all about matching my pressure. So I can be quite light when I use pressure. Mm. And then sometimes you feel like trying to like prove it, but it's not the case. So I'll just literally call you out and say, just reduce your pressure. That's not a problem. Okay. How it works is because uh, it's a contact therapy. So for example, your hands are like this. So you're mm. basically communicating to your brain to body what's wrong here. So oh. when we do the work, I always ask for hands up the side. Right. Also eyes must be open the most of the session. So when I'm testing the muscle, always open, but when I'm correcting, mm. uh, then you can have your break, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got this thing I've noticed about, probably because I'm an energy healer, like when mm. I touch people, people just start to <laughs> fall asleep, so I'm like, oh, yeah, engage with me. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it's not bad, because the lights are normally a bit dimmer here, so That's maybe true. it's good to be like, woo, <laughs> on the spotlight, quite literally. Um, okay, and then, so how it will work, I'll say to you, the response will be like, putting the muscle in place and then mm. hold. And then when I want to work something out, I'll ask it if it's structural imbalance, is it nutritional imbalance, is it emotional imbalance, um, and an energetic imbalance of which each can derive a different reason of techniques I can use. Mm -hmm. It could be one, two, three, four, depends what your body wants, right? Okay. 
Um, so just based on your consultation, just a couple of questions. I'm hoping I can remember. I did. I, <laughs> I know. No, bless you. No, but it's this, this generic things. Yeah. But because um, you've sort of come up with your theme today, to me is immune system. You want to work on your immune system. immune system. Yeah. Um, so my question first was, has your immune system always been, you know, not perfect, or is no, it recent? It's always been really good. It's literally only the past year or so that, I mean, yeah. I catch a lot of calls very easily and things like that. It's probably it, it links up well with when I started working in London though, so uh, okay. Yeah. Uh then the next kind of question I ask is then when did you last have your booster? Um gosh. I think hold on. Got COVID last April and the booster was the winter before that. So winter twenty twenty one would have been okay. the booster, yeah. Yeah, because I've seen just obviously a correlation with people that they come, they have the booster, mm. then they get this absurd, hectic kind of cold flu, and then they just can't seem to get over it, and their system just gets weaker. So just right. wanting to see if there's a pattern there. Yeah. Um, weird question. Why do you feel addicted to green tea? <laughs> um, I wonder. I've always been really addicted to like the bitter taste thing. Bitter taste. Yeah, okay. and also, like, I've tried to wane off it because I think it was a lot of caffeine I was having every day. And I do feel better now I don't drink it as much. Mm. But I do like the hit of, like, it wakes me up in the morning. Yeah, yeah of course, because it's a caffeinated yeah. beverage. But, you know, it's like coffee or green tea. It's like green tea's better. Yeah, green tea's better, yeah, yeah. Right? So. Choose your advice, yeah. yeah. Do you ever have, like, I guess for Japanese, you must have, like, matcha and all that. Yeah, I have... I do tea ceremony as well sometimes. So oh, beautiful. Yeah, okay. I end up having a lot of like really strong matcha, which is probably not good to have to keep me awake. But I do have a matcha vial, actually, because I drink matcha. So mm-hmm. I can probably test that on that you as well. That would be really interesting. I'll just have to pull that out one of my boxes. I so much in the tea slash like matcha. Huh? So. That's why I felt like when I was reading the boxes, so my intuition was like, I should pull that one out. <laughs> I pulled out lots of things, but that I didn't. So I'll just have to get that out of the box. Uh, what else did I want to ask? Yeah, so basically what I do with people is usually I do blood tests and people test allergies and intolerances, but mm. that is obviously so, sort of a higher price and not affordable yeah. to everyone. Okay. So what I do is with my simulated vials, mm. I have two food boxes. Okay. So people can either pull out a couple and then I can test them. Mm. Usually more uh, what you eat frequently. So if you're eating chicken every day, slash okay. Okay. food you suspect, because everyone has this intuition. You eat something and you're like, mm, I don't know about that. Or you yeah. just, or you ha- like, I have a weird example. When I was a child, I drank a specific orange juice and I vomited and I was really sick. And ever since then, I never want to touch that orange juice, oh. you know? So I've got an association with that. Mm. So then I just go, okay, maybe test oranges because I've got a sort of right. an energetic uh, repel to it, right? Right. right? You know, I definitely have something with bread, but I don't know what in bread does it. Like, I get, like, a clammy throat. Oh, that sounds like an allergy. gluten, but I don't think I have a gluten allergy. Like, I'm fine with certain other things, so. But pasta yeah. also does it, so I don't know. Yeah, potentially gluten then. So the mm. four most common from blood tests I see is dairy, gluten, uh, eggs, and yeast. So mm. most people don't know about the yeast, which mm. is quite interesting. And yeast is in every baked good to help it rise. Yeah. Um, and in mushrooms, which is very... Oh. Uh, so I've come to a rule of thumb, just obviously because I told you I work literally inside people. Mm. Um Anything fermented, so if you have a yeast problem, anything fermented, you're thinking pickled, you're thinking mm. alcohol, you're thinking aged, so cheese, that kind of thing. I just tell people to stop. Because um, oh, okay. yeah. the most common problem when people have um, an allergic reaction or an intolerant reaction to food mm. is literally the body goes, it shuts down. And then your passage of movement doesn't move and then the food gets stuck there and rots. And if you really have something that's fermented, rotting, mm. it's not going to add uh, any favours to you, right? Wow. And that's, again, the common response. It expresses. So the last place in the body is the skin that it expresses itself. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, I do get quite, like, almost cystic at you sometimes. So it's a lot better than it used to be. Um, 
So we should check it out, right? Yeah. So we'll see some suspected foods. But what I want to do first with you, um, so maybe we can test that as well. So we can test general parasite, candida, leaky gut, H. pylori, the common ones, mm. heavy metals. Uh, then we can test the foods as well. Um, but I do, I want to just check your, what we call your ICV. So we'll give you an example of how the muscle test is going to look like. So mm. the most common one I use for the stomach is called the PMC, so the pectoral major clavicular. So we're going to have your arms straight and inverted. So what I call range of motion. So this is the direction your arm is going to go. So for example, it's going to go like that. Mm. So I'm going to obviously use just a slightly little bit more pressure. Then I say to you, hold. And then you'll respond by going the opposite way, right? Okay. Then I'll do something like a distraction or whatever I'll decide to do. Then I'm going to ask you to hold again to see if your muscle is responding properly. Okay. So you just push the opposite direction. Yeah, but I'll guide you. If, okay. you, if you don't do it correctly, that's okay. It's, your, it's officially your first time, so I'll be lenient, yeah? <laughs> I'm joking. I'll always be lenient. Okay, so let's just give an example. So I'm going to say hold. That's perfect, yeah. Okay, okay, good. And then you let go, and then I'll hold, and then we'll see. So we'll take it from there. So let me just filter something into you quickly. So I want to do first two main important ones, which we call your conception vessel, governing vessel, your main meridians in your body that are important. So this one, I call it the penguin. <laughs> okay. And you're going to push like this is your range of motion, all right? So I'm going to go that way. You're going to go the opposite, yeah? Okay. Okay, and hold. Okay, that's good. That's nice and strong. And we always do bilaterally, both sides, yeah, because you might have a problem, okay? And same, I'm going to go in, you go out, okay, and hold. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so that's nice and strong. Next one we're going to do, teres major. So you're going to put your hands behind your back, fingers not touching, okay. right? So this one, I'm going to basically pull your arm up. You need to push down, okay. yeah? Okay, and hold. Eyes open, yeah? And hold. Okay, good. That's nice. Okay, and hold. Okay, good. That's nice and strong. Okay, let go. Uh, PMC. So we're going to do that one again now officially. Okay, and hold. Okay, good. Perfect. And then same one. Invert your hand here. Okay, and hold. Good, nice and strong. What we're going to do now is anterior deltoid. So literally the arm's just going to be slightly raised like that, just one at a time. I'm going to push down, you push up, okay? And hold. See that one shaking, yeah? yeah. So that's weak, yeah? Okay, let's see this one as well. And hold. Okay, great. So I'm going to lock that in. Right, so we're going to ask your body. I'm going to say hold four times, yeah? To see what it means. Okay, so hold. Hold. Hold, hold, okay, so just structural correction, so that's fine. I'm just going to put some, um, this on you anyway, because I enjoy just to add an extra back. These are the four I picked up for you earlier. Right, so you don't mind if I touch around mm -hmm. here? Yeah, yeah, okay. So you always let me know out of 10 if it's too painful. Okay. Because sometimes it can be. So these are called neurolymphatics, so your lymphatic system connected to your brain. So communicate, so we're just releasing pain. Is it painful at all? Not much, yeah. All right, nice. So you're the first one to say. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, most people in there, it's a bit sensitive because it's thin as skin. I don't know you very well. Is it similar to what you've done before? No, it's quite it's quite different actually. Okay. Let me just take this off quickly for a second. Okay, then I'm gonna come into your back and I'm just gonna mirror sort of the same. Okay, relax. Relax, relax, relax. A little bit more, yes? Yeah. That's quite fast showing the pain in this one. Yeah. Which one? This one here. Yeah. Shoulder pain or rhomboid? Rhomboid, sorry, it's at the top here at the back. Um, probably like, yeah, higher up. Okay. So 
Okay, this is the time I'm just going to go on the other side, so hopefully that's okay. Just mm -hmm. literally layering. Okay, and again, yeah, for me. You're back. Yeah. Okay, drop. Feels like you're in heaven, no? Oh, the sight feels so nice. <laughs> feels like a massage. <laughs> it does. When I trained, I trained with two different teachers, and the one was like this firecracker Scottish woman, amazing, but she's really rough. Oh. Like she really like. And then my other teacher was like, "You don't need to be rough. You can be gentle." So oh, it's like, really nice. <laughs> You're right about it being relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I'm already getting very sleepy. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's like the magic touch, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just gonna. So this is called cranial work now. So I'm just gonna touch a certain point. Neurovasculars. Because I'm an energy worker, so usually my hands get quite warm. Yeah. I can feel it's activating now. Okay, so let's see, now we're going to come back to this. Okay, so same story, so we're going to push down, hold. Nice, so nice and strong, not wobbling anymore, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So cool. I know. And every time I'm like, oh my God, like Alice in Wonderland, and hold. That's nice and solid now, that's good. Big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Right? So next one I want to do is we're going to do your quads, which is your small intestine. So basically I'm going to lift your leg up, bend your knee for me. So just slightly like that. So what I'm going to do, just don't resist at all. I'm going to push your leg down like this. Okay. So you're going to push up. And oh. I'm going to go down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So hold. Hold. Okay. That's good. That's perfect. And again, hold. Hold. Okay. Good. Drop. That's fine. Okay. So next one, your feet are going to be like this. You're going to take one up. You're going to invert it. And then that's the range of motion I'm going to do, okay. yeah? Okay, so, and hold. Yeah. And you go Which outwards, you outwards. go outwards, sorry. sorry. Yeah, and hold. Hold. Yeah, okay, and just try again, hold. There we go, that's fine, that's good, it's working. The same with this one, inverting this foot. Okay, and hold. Okay, good, drop. Okay, and now the next one, same, you're going to lift your foot up, but you're going to turn it outwards this time. No, lots to remember, isn't it? So what I'm going to do range of motion as I'm pushing down this way. So you need to push up, yeah? Okay. Okay, and hold. I know this one's not working. That's okay. <laughs> okay, and hold. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's lock that in. Okay, so that's your kidneys, your psoas muscle, right? Okay. So now let's go back to this one. Well, let's do this one. That's fine. This one's quite easy to respond. You know, you know it's strong. Okay, so hold. Okay, up. Yeah, okay. hold. Yeah, good. So what I've done is I've told your leg that is now here. So okay. it's gone from being strong to weak. So now this is going to be my indicator muscle. Uh -huh. So I've swapped around your body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you do four holds for me, yeah? Okay. okay, and hold. 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 Okay, and one more time. Hold. And last one. Hold. Just want structure again. It's quite interesting. Right, where is your belly button for me, darling? <laughs> there. Okay, good. That's fine. Just need to do like that. You haven't eaten recently, yeah? That would. No, I did the like, two hours. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because otherwise it'll be a bit strange. <laughs> it's okay. Pain thresholds fine. It's okay. It's just uncomfortable, but it's not painful. So it's interesting, so out of the ones we've already done, your body's only wanting structure so far, so it's quite interesting to see. Structure. Structural, so posture. Ah. Uh, that might be not very bad posture. 
And your nutrition and emotions are okay? My emotions are pretty, like, solid. I, mm. I don't know about what I'm eating, but yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be healthy. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to come under your head. Okay, relax. Let's see if this is enough. Okay, so same story. Now just again, push. I'm gonna push down. You push up and hold. Okay, good. Right now, let's double check this one. Okay, and hold. Nice. Much different, isn't it? Do you I notice can, or? Yeah. I can already tell. Okay, yeah. Okay, and hold. Yeah. There you go. Do it again. And hold. There we go. Nice and strong. Amazing. Okay. So now I've basically checked the key muscles I wanted to check. So now we're going to actually go into a technique, right? So okay. we haven't done anything just yet. Okay. So what I want you to do is, where your hip bone is, can you touch here for me with the, yeah, the with other hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's see. And hold. Yeah. So let's break that. And also touch here. So it's called your ICV, your iliocecal valve and your Houston valve. And hold. Yeah, on that as well. Okay, got that. And okay, you can let go now. Um, let's see what you want. Okay, again, four holds. Yeah. Okay, and hold. 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 Okay. Flowers. Okay. Now we're gonna do this exercise. So can you hold? Are you? I'm tired. Or is it okay? Oh, no, it's That's okay. Okay. So again, hold. 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 Yeah, see the ones I picked. Okay, and hold. 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 This one. Let's go up this. Okay, and hold. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to try this one. Okay, and hold. No, don't want that one. Uh -huh. Let's see this one. Yes, and this. Okay, and hold. Hold. Okay, hold. 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 Okay, good. All right. Now you're lucky, you can relax for a bit and you can close your eyes, yeah? I'm just going to work from feet down. Yeah. And you just sort of tap into nice breathing and relaxation. Have you ever done reflexology before? Um, I've done it slightly over the socks, I guess, for like part of another treatment. Okay. Um, I've never like full on done it. Okay. So what I'm doing is effectively reflexology, but I'm running over the large intestine because we're correcting the uh, large intestine valve from small intestine to large. It's a very common problem everyone has. Um, yeah. Would you say that maybe with what you eat, there's no emotional related issues with it? So you don't stress when you eat or? Um, I stress about the fact that I should probably eat less, but then I still eat a lot. So 
Do you? Yeah. What do you classify as eating a lot? Three meals a day, snacks. Good point. Um, I think I don't eat a lot of meals. I just have like big portions. Like when I do have dinner, and it's if I am being lazy, it, if it it's not always the best food, mm. so mm. then it's like I say it's like filler food because. What kind of food do you eat? Um, like a, a real mixture. Like I'm not very fussy, so I have like anything. But I can be quite when I'm tired after work. I can be quite bad and get deliveries or something like takeaways. Um, yeah. But it's not necessarily unhealthy food. It's just takeaway food. Like not like necessary. Oh, maybe maybe it's McDonald's, yeah. isn't it? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Of course. But then other times it's like. Whatever's nearby, like sometimes it's like French food or Spanish food or Thai food or like. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I should really stop exposing far too much. I know, isn't it? But yeah. I think in life you have to decide what is your pleasure. Like I'm a foodie. Mm. Yeah, I love food. Like for example, when I had COVID and I lost my sense of taste and smell for six months, I thought, <gasps> I don't know oh, how I'm going to live life without tasting the food again. Oh God, I can't imagine. I was like crying on the first day of COVID because I lost my smell. Oh, bless you. And I just kept praying to like, <laughs> God, please don't take it from me. So yeah, I ended up yeah. got lucky, I guess. It's funny how religious you become, right? <laughs> it shows you what really matters to you, I guess. 100%. Yeah. yeah. But it does come back. Mm. But for me, from all my patients, I, I definitely was one of the people that took longer to get it back. Oh, no. Um, live with so it's just nice to breath in and feel the breath out
in this place, right? Okay. Through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, and then start again in and out. Last one. All right, let's see how we fare now. Okay, so touch here for me. Okay, and hold. Nice, nice and strong now, yeah? And then this side as well. Okay, and hold. Nice, okay, perfect. Addressed, okay. Let's quickly, actually, I'll do the parasite things first, I think would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Here, all right. Okay, so same thing, just hold, hold, okay, hold. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, hold. Hold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just let me know if your arm gets tired, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hold. 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 Okay, try again. Hold. That's fine. Okay. Okay, relax. Alright, let's see what you have uh, selected. So it says H. pylori, fungus and virus, right, so maybe fire, virus with the immune system, mm -hmm. right, so that's usually quite good, that's quite good as well, that's quite good, I think this one. So usually a very good offset. So now, for example, you've tested weak for this. Mm -hmm. So saying, ex explaining that this is in your body, okay. right? So I call it the poison. Right. And now I find the cure. So then I've got, so obviously with my knowledge in nutrition, I'll say, okay, this is what usually goes well with this to offset it. Mm -hmm. um, but if it doesn't, then mm -hmm. I'll need to find different matching, right? Okay. okay. So, and hold. Hold. So it doesn't agree with that one, which is not common, but that's fine. Let's go here and hold. Hold. Okay, good. I can put these three on as well at the same time, so that's interesting. Let's try this one. Okay, and hold. Good. Um, okay, hold. Hold. Nice. Nice. I'm getting excited. So I don't know what uh, to do with this one. Okay. And hold. No, I don't like that one. Let's try the other one. Okay. And hold. 
hold it. Hold it. Okay, how do I see? All right. So just like that, we've got your remedy. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'll write this down quickly. So what have you tested? Fungus. So usually when people test with us, they might have, they usually go, oh, I had a fungal nail. Um, so H. pylori is a bacteria in the small intestine. can be quite nasty and can last quite a long time. Okay. Um, and then I can give you digestive issues in the long term because it's eating away and not giving you the nutrition that you need. Um, and that's where people get um, the breakouts in skin, low immunity issues. So this mm. can explain potentially why mm. you're feeling the way that you are. Yeah? Wow. Um, right, so let's quickly go to suspected foods. Right, so you said wheat, yes, potentially. Yeah, potentially. What else are you thinking? Um, yeah, anything that's in like breads and pasta. Ah, let me get, why don't you have a look quickly at these while I get the matcha out. If you have, you can put them in the box, in the kidney dish. Please, I don't have an allergy, I just hate them. <laughs> yeah, but then you wouldn't eat them anyway, so. Yeah. Um, I think, um, yeah, the only one I can think of is cow's milk. That's fine, in this box. Really bad after I've had it. Oh yes, it's one thing I've wrote for you for your homework is never have coffee on an empty stomach. Always have it with something, because right. um, it basically can eat away at the lining of your intestinal wall. Yeah. Is that the same as green tea then? Or? Yeah, it's caffeinated, so right. it's not very easy to have something with a green tea. You can't uh, dip it in there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah. But even if it's something small like a biscuit or. A smoothie, a sip of a smoothie, something like that. Is that it? Wow. Yeah, nice. I can't okay. think of anything else that That's stands fine. out. So same story, going to lift you up. Is this arm okay? It's not tired? It's okay, okay. yeah. Okay, so let's just hold. Eyes open. Hold. Okay, and hold. Yeah, okay. And then hold. And hold. Yeah, okay. What is it? I don't yeah, know. I I'm not telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and hold. 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 Yeah, it sounds so much better. Huh? I can really feel the difference between them. Yeah, but that one is shaking. So, oh, but is it, it? Yeah, yeah. But it's oh, not as so severe, better. right? Right. So one's like explicit no. The other one, where I'm t touching the point here is to say, is it a quantity overload or is it something you can introduce? But I'll try see. I'll put digestive enzymes on. Do you know digestive enzymes? I'll show you. Okay, and last one. And hold. That one's fine. Okay, and hold. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait, nice. wait, okay. Okay, and hold. And hold. Yeah, you're just having too much of it, yeah? So let's see now if I get my digestive enzymes. So digestive enzymes is something you have before a meal to help you break down your foods better. Uh -huh. And then you can absorb it. So let's just see if you can tolerate it if you have this and hold. Yeah, good. Okay, and hold. Still not, yeah. Okay, hold. Better. And hold. Good. Okay. So, just for you, wheat is off the cards, right? Oh, okay. It gets better if you have matcha tea with this paired with it. So, digestive enzymes, basically. Right. It's a supplement you take before you have a meal okay. to help break down the foods and things better. So, you can have it. But usually, I don't pair it with a beverage, per se. Right. But um, you can have dairy when you have this. So Is there bad on dairy as well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. But wheat is, the, is the one. So that would be, so as opposed to gluten, it was wheat. All right, and so wheat kind of falls in the same category. I can break it down. Um, 
I can break it down for you if you want, but basically, I think it's the same thing, but there's mm -hmm. different kind of names. Okay, and hold. Yeah, gluten, no. Okay, oh. hold. Yeah, so both of them, which is mm. just the breakdown, gluten and L-gliadine, so no. No okay. baked goodies for you, darling, <laughs> sorry. Well, it explains <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because whenever I'd mention to friends, like, oh, that clammy feeling you get when you have bread, they'd be like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm sad about the matcha, though. Yeah. Just too much. So the yeah. idea, so I always explain, allergy means you can't have it, you mm. should avoid completely, because yeah. it can end up in becoming in, like, an anaphylaxis-type stages, different severities. Tolerance is you've just overeaten it, your body's irritated. Yeah. You haven't tested for something called leaky gut, which means that you've got a lot of problems with food because there's a tear in okay. your intestinal lining. So that's a good thing to not test for that. Mm. So it's just showing that there, you basically just need to avoid it because there is just something genetically that your body doesn't like. Right. right. Wheat's in like so many things. I know, I can't eat wheat. Oh. But I do eat wheat sometimes. Okay. Because first come to a point in the healing work you go completely extreme mm. and then you're getting different kind of mental health issues because you're yeah. like i can't go out i can't do this da, da. so you got to sin a little as well yeah <coughs> i feel wait rice is so okay right? uh rice has some gluten in it as well i'll send you some lists yeah okay right so we're gonna do let's do the last thing today so i'm just gonna quickly check your endocrine system okay. so i'll take these off as well because I want to see about uh, your thymus. Actually, wait, I want to check this one supplement. Just quickly, just again. And hold. Hold. No, it doesn't do. Okay. All right. So. Let me first tell you what I'm going to do because it's all weird, isn't it? Right. So I'm going to stroke your hand. Okay. I'm going to touch you here, here. I'm going to lift this, go here, and then here, here. Um, and then I'll touch your ovaries if that's okay, yeah? Mm hmm And here as well, yeah? Okay, so, and then each one, hold, hold, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just do one thing. i got to take off the filter. Okay, again. Okay, and hold. Okay, mm eyes open again. Let's try this again. <laughs> hold. Okay, hold. 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 Mm. That one's going down. <laughs> Did you see that one? Yeah. That went down really fast. That's thyroid, yeah? Okay, and hold. Okay, hold. Maybe you can touch you for me. Can you touch you yeah. for me? Yeah, yeah. Just because your big ribbon's in the way. Yeah. That's fine. It's great. It's wonderful. Hold. Okay, so thyroid. Let's go back here and hold. There. That was weak, yeah? Can't do anything so about weird. that. Yeah. Have you noticed anything with thyroid? Thyroid's metabolism, which is something you said that your metabolism is... Uh, uh, it's come up in your form, right. I remember. Right. Let's see. I need to pull out something for thyroid. I did, again, because I work with energy and intuition, I did pull out some stuff thinking it may happen. Mm. Um, so first of all, let's see. Let's go and hold. Okay. I'm going to do four holds for me. So hold. 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 Okay. Again, structure. Um, let's start here. Are you, you're not exercising at the moment, so yeah. no. very important. So different, I always see it like a, a subheading, is exercise, health, and beauty. Right. So most people, oh, I don't exercise, you know, I look good. It's nothing to do with that. There's a lot of processes that your body needs to move and circulate, to, to pump your heart, to yeah. challenge your body, help your muscles, help your brain. Right. And your endocrine system, so your glands are very important. So I always say just 
10 minutes a day. I've already written for homework because I've <laughs> seen the future. <laughs> yeah. Right, exercise. Yeah, the one thing I will miss out. Like, I try harder for the others and then exercise. Just like, I make excuses, but it's hard and stuff. It's okay. Yeah. Let's get a hard shell. So I just want to see which one might respond, so just do a few holds for me, and hold, 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 don't want any of this, it's fine, don't need it, <laughs> right, I'm just, I'm trying something else as well, and hold, hold, no, it's okay, so, weird technique, but what you're going to do is you're going to just sort of stretch out your neck, I'm going to turn to the side and I'm going to tap here, and whilst I do that, can you try hum, like mm, okay. yeah, okay, so this side, yeah, I'll do both sides, mm. yeah, side. Just lift your head for me for a second, so drop. Let's just test this one more time. Okay, and hold. Nice, strong. <laughs> Your face, I love it. It's more that I, 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 I should pay you for that facial expression. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> et voila. Uh, the magic has worked. Okay, just want to test one more thing. So just going to space your legs slightly apart. So if you've ever done tarot card reading, the hangman, so you're going to do your feet like this, right? So you're going to make your shape into a four. Right, so again, range of motion, I'm going to pull down, you pull up, yeah? Okay. You can hold on to the sides of the bed if you feel the need. Just put this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to pull down and hold. Okay, good. Right, so let go. You're going to put your hands under your bum. Okay, and hold. Okay, next one, you're going to put your palms under, okay, and hold, okay, good, so adrenals are fine, okay, okay, good, right, so you're going to slowly start to wind down now, where well, I'm just going to check your supplements for you, all right, that didn't test, all right, so clearing off everything, okay, so lift here, okay, and hold, okay, drop, Okay, again, hold. Fabulous. Okay, so let's again test. Hold. Sorry, I'm going Yeah. Hold. Hold. Okay, hold. No more, I need to go with that one. Okay, 
Okay, hold. I'm not needing that one either. So what happens throughout the session, because I put it in your energy circuit, your body's assimilated the energy of the nutrition, and then sometimes it doesn't need it anymore by the end of the session, right? It's cool. I know, I know, I know. Oh, that's why I love it. <laughs> okay. So let's do this one. Okay, hold. Yeah. Hold. Okay, hold. Um, hold. Hold. Okay, fabulous. Right. Now, i am just got to dice it, and then we're done, my lovely. Okay. Um, let's go. Okay, hold. 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 Okay. Hold. 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 Okay, fabulous. Now I know what you need, right? And now we're going to wind up. And so what I'm just doing is going to just close the energy circuit. So I'm just going to place my hands over here and here. And so you can close your eyes. you ready? You can come onto the couch. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so you do remember everything, I suppose, yes? So I hope so, yeah. yeah. How I first like to start the sessions as well now, just because it's a follow-up. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously you've said to me what you'd like to do. So today I've drawn up like a list of different, like checklist of things I want to do with you, just in terms of your hairs in your face. Okay. Um, and even to start with, is there anything in terms of emotions that you'd like to just have addressed that I can give you some flowers to start with or sort some of flowers? The back flowers, the, the drops that we do? Ah, so. um, I've had quite bad sleep this week, like not generally, I'm usually really good, but for some reason I keep having like really, like not nightmares, but like stress dreams, I think, about the next day. Um, and then I look at my Apple Watch and it's like, oh, you slept six hours. And 
I'm like, that can't be right. I've been in bed eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I keep waking up in the night. Of but course. It's, it's just this week and there's literally no reason why that should be the case. So. Well, in terms of astrology and planetary alignments, so there was just a full moon. Um, apparently, there's a Mercury retrograde. So basically, there's a lot of funky stuff going on at the moment. <laughs> so we're all being like, oh, oh what's happening to us? So um, that could be potentially why. So always when the planets are moving, because our body predominantly is 70% water. So with the moon um, going in, it will pull on our water levels. Right. And that will affect your mood. Like for me, I suffer with insomnia during that time. Okay. Um, not massively, but yeah. like, like, oh, I might as well watch a series tonight because I don't want to go to bed. So it could be happening with that. So right. the astrology guy that um, is my client, he said, uh, bank on a couple of weeks of havoc no. <laughs> and mayhem. <Right>. Great. <laughs> yeah. So just to, on that light note. <laughs> Lol. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a couple of things just to help. I'll let this one out. Okay, so same story, just lift your tongue. So that one will just be for a bit of overwhelm and just, and then we got, I've got this one out already for you, just for thoughts. It's called white chestnut, maybe I have to say it on the film. So elm, the first one, white chestnut, and then walnuts is very good just sort of to protect your energy. So I just like to do that. So I'm just going to welcome you into space. I'm just going to place my hand so you can close your eyes for a couple of minutes or seconds. Just want to connect with you. And invite you to take some deep breaths in through your belly, so nice and slow in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, so just in terms of following up a little video, um, obviously you had your session last time, so today I've done a sort of like a listed plan of what we're going to do. I'm going to check some muscles, then I'm going to just recheck the three vials that you tested for last time just to see because sometimes what you test for can get cleared enough with the nutrition okay. and sometimes it can still persist right? right and that might just indicate okay just carry on with the supplements and nutrition okay um and then i'll move on because again to today you said you'd like to focus on neck and shoulder sort of structural stuff which from your last session really was the one that was only coming up so that's quite good yeah good. <laughs> i think it's good sometimes it's all four you know um structure emotion nutrition um an electrical imbalance or so energy right. all right so if we start i'm going to start with the casual first one so i'll do just i'll show you range of motion where i'm going to push down then we'll move into the next one just on straight and that one yeah okay okay so just a reminder i'm going to say the word hold and then you're going to create some slight resistance then i'm going to do an action that's going to try and switch the muscle off hold okay that's good Okay, just slightly up. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way, you go that way. Okay, and hold. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go again. Hold. Perfect. Hold. Okay, good. And relax. Um, I want to do this one first as well. Okay, so I'm gonna, I call it the penguin. It's not called the penguin, but it's my, what I call it. So I'm gonna push in like that. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, so you do, yeah, yeah it. it's fine, exactly. That's what we want, the body to respond. Okay, so hold. Hold. Okay, good. Let's do this bilaterally. Okay, hold. Hold. Okay, good. Then you're going to take your hands and place it behind your back. So the range of motion I'm going to do is like that. Okay, so you're going to push down. Yeah, hold. Hold. Okay, see, and hold. Hold. Okay, so this one we're going to work on a bit, right? So release your hand. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to push, um, I'm going to push down, you push that way again. Okay, so hold. 
Okay, then I'm going to do full hold. So hold, 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 hold. Okay, so back flowers. Let's see, go back to this one again. Let's see, I feel like you might need this one. Let's test it out. Okay, and hold. Nice and strong. Okay, hold. And then let's go with this one, relax. So I'll give you this one as well. So this one is quite, it's popularly known as like putting on a brave face, like feeling you always have to like show up and sometimes it's hard and you have to like put on a mask. I don't know if that's how you feel or... Mm -hmm. Like in the lake. I'm just gonna do that. Do that position again for me. Okay, so I got eyes open, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull up, you pull down, okay, and hold. Hold. Okay, good. This one, hold. Hold. Okay, good. Let's go and relax. Okay, so let me go to my list now. We can go now into the files. All right, so I'm just gonna test this one again. So hold, this one as well, hold. We need to do one more. This one bent. Yep. So the idea is I'm gonna push down. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the range of motion. So again, hold, hold. Okay, good, release, and then this one. Okay, hold, hold. Good release, that's good. Right. Let's go here. Hold your arm up for me. <laughs> okay, great. So it's gonna do here. Okay, and hold. Good, that's testing strong. Hold, good. Hold. Double check that one, okay. I'm gonna test it on this one as well. Okay, sorry, your hair's in your way here. Okay, and I'm gonna push down, you push up, yeah, hold. Okay, that's good. And then we're just gonna leave that one on here. And let's just check, so I'm gonna push down, you push up and hold. Good, okay, and hold. That's great. Okay, so the last three, um, so the files that you tested for last time, which was, virus, fungus, and H. pylori are fine now. So I think those supplements have been sufficient for what you needed. So good. Yeah, Yay. that's great. I know, right? <laughs> I love it. I was so worried if the opposite happened. I was like, oh no. Sometimes um, it depends how old the issue is or how long term it's been. Like for right. example, if you've had parasites in your gut for years and they've been creating havoc and damage or bacteria overload, then that can obviously take time to repair. Some things can be more embedded, da da da, da. Um, So you just do treatment for a bit longer. So yeah. it wouldn't be something that is not irreversible. So, okay. yeah, so don't oh, worry, okay. don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so I've done this one. Sorry, I want to do this one as well. So I'm going to push down and hold. Again, hold. Okay. Same story like your arm. You're going to lift your leg. I'm going to push down. Okay, and hold. Mmm, okay, yeah. hold, okay, drop, okay, let's just test this one again, okay, and hold, okay, so four holds, so hold, 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 okay, all right, so I'm just going to rub up inside the thighs, Are you exercising at the moment? I've done a lot of walking, but okay. no like high intensity stuff yet. Okay. 
Oh yeah, it's definitely more tender that side. Yeah. It might even be, for example, carrying a bag on the one arm and then creating an imbalance mm. through compensation. Okay, I'll just come under. So the nutrition you're on at the moment, you said it was a probiotic and something else. Uh, like it hides like a daily multivitamin kind of thing. Slightly a bit higher, there we go, and hold. And I don't want that one. Okay, and hold. invert your hands, both of them for me. Let's see. Okay, again, and hold. Good, okay. Okay, so the same story to lift straight, straight leg, straight leg. Okay, and hold. Still need a bit more. Okay, and hold. So that one's better. Okay, let's do a little bit more of this. Deeper. Tell me if the pressure is too much.
see you with this one again. Okay, and hold. Okay, better now. Okay. Okay. That's so different. Yeah. Hold. There we go. Good. That's okay. so weird. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add a new level to it. We're going to lift both of these up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to push down and hold. Okay, still a bit weak there, combined. Okay, and hold. Yeah, okay, just a little bit, so it's fine. I'll address them. You were so right about getting sleepy every time you do this. <laughs> like, instantly my mm -hmm. eyes just, like, flutter close. It's like the portal I create in this place. It's like the the subtle seduction. So calm. That's why I'd say out of all my treatments, kinesiology is a bit tricky because you have to stay engaged. Yeah, like I'm like, oh, they're shut now, but I know I need to open them. <laughs> yeah, but that's what helps. Because um, I'm an intuitive worker, I usually can get people to relax and sleep, and then I can I feel and I, I feel guided. Mm. Um, but obviously, because it's being filmed, I do it yeah. strictly properly, <laughs> so I don't give a different perspective to what it is like. Oh yeah, you said you um, do it remotely as well, right? Uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so kinesiology is obviously not as popular globally as it should be. It's usually quite popular in America. So in the UK, it's growing quite a lot, um, where a lot of people think it's inaccessible, but I can do remote sessions and distance sessions as well. I just ask for a couple of items that people can post to me. So some can be weird, where I ask for like nail clippings or strands of hair, freshly brushed or just chopped off from the root. Um, if it's local and easier, then people can send like a clothing item. Um, but usually a photo and I'll do an online Zoom meeting so I can meet the person and the energy and then I can tune in and I can do remote work. Another um, popular thing is if, for example, you can't get to the clinic or for whatever reason, we can do surrogate testing. So someone can come on your behalf and same with the items or we can just say this is the person and then you can become the person, which is fun. Um, and then basically you can do the work on their behalf and then it's going into that shamanic energy work where we can do transmission of energy healing so you can find out what nutrition they might need or supplements um, which seems quite <laughs> different but when you're open to energy work anything is possible I was going to say it sounds kind of fun to be a stand-in mm. I yeah, enjoy just, that just as much yeah, as yeah. being myself <laughs> I remember um, was when I was training and I got my boyfriend to stand in and then um, I got him to be the, he was basically being my surrogate for distance work and then he'd be really shocked because we know what his normal things are that he's good at or strong in yeah. and what he isn't and then all of a sudden he'd be like, because you say my name is and you say your name is and you're strong then you take over the other person and you go my name is your original name is <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. I really enjoy it because it's like the spooky face, like you yeah. see a ghost and you're like, that's crazy. Um, a lot of people out there who don't understand it, you know, they say, oh, it's not real, trust the GPs, trust the doctors. Mm. Everyone has their own right. But I think this is technology that's very advanced. So to grasp it takes a, a lot of different thinking, broadening your mindset. Mm. Um, it's a bit crunchy here. Is it sore? It's not sore, but I can feel the, yeah. the crunchiness. Because um, we stand all day, we sit all day, everything yeah. gets quite stagnant here. Mm -hmm. And we forget to love our feet. We really do. I, mean, I certainly don't. <laughs> I think about the idea, because I'm an analogy person, about how we suffocate our feet in socks and shoes all day probably never wearing the right shoe size. Like women with high heels, you just... Yeah. So I'm like mm. being a basic nerd and researcher, understanding all the things in life, yeah. medically, medical, energetic, trying to get a person to be like the best version of themselves. And I call it like mm. a Rubik's cube. Like we all have our combination that we're out of balance. And then I find the right recipe to unlock mm. or decrypt your combination. Mm. Um, I'm all about, and this comes into my job when I was an accountant, efficiency, effectiveness and efficiency. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, 
people can be, my favourite is chronically ill people, people, GPs won't see me anymore, I've been sick mm. for years, I can't get out of bed, three sessions, yeah. they're really getting their life back, so it's really good, my, mm. it's like my niche, Aww. but not only, but yeah. it's my, my favourite, like, it's like, I can help you, I'm sure, you know, like try. the last hope. <laughs> yeah, basically, and just giving people hope is such mm. a powerful healer in itself, the belief that you can heal. So just gonna lift this, okay, and I'm gonna push down, so hold. Yeah, so that one's not wobbling like it was, that's great, okay. I'm sorry, this is a bit high now, so. Okay, and hold. Yeah, right, this one a bit more. <laughs> it feels so nice though. Yeah. I can't feel it, like, the crunchiness. Yeah, it's very crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> like peanut butter. <laughs> So this is something, again, a lot of what I love about this uh, modality is a lot of the techniques are quite simple and you can do it at home. So nothing stopping you from mm. doing this on yourself a few minutes a day or even um, exfoliation gloves. But people know dry brushing, but I'm a fan ah. of my... I'm a fan of trying to make yourself booby trap. Like you go somewhere and you're like, oh, trigger. So put the exfoliation gloves in the shower. Right. When you go, sh everyone showers, hopefully every day. <laughs> hopefully. Um, and then you put the gloves on, you lather it up and you s stimulate. Do it on your feet. Give it two, three rubs. Mm -hmm. I say to people, do about 20 times just as a... Because you never know if you scrub, scrub, scrub. You're like, was that five, ten, right. two... Just like how many glasses of water do you drink a day? Yeah, I always forget. Answers, sorry. Yeah, it feels like it's like a bubble there. Yeah, it's very tight. I'm just going to move your foot around. So that, again, that's showing, showing me you need to do some more cardiovascular up and down. Right. So your lymphatics, I think, would need some help. Let's try okay, this so I guess walking's not enough. No. Hold. Do it again. Hold. Right. Try Keep this going. one individually. Hold. Yeah. Have you got any injuries? No. Okay. We'll come back to that a little bit more. Uh, what else did I want to do with you? Let's see. Yeah, try the lymphatics. Okay. So, I'm going to lift your legs up. I'm just going to hold your legs up for a bit. About 15 seconds. Wrap you up like a little uh, tortilla. Thank you. Can you go over high? Is that okay? Yeah, it's yeah. It's not uncomfortable. No, I quite like it. <laughs> Feels like yoga. <laughs> VIP yoga, I do for you. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, the Thai massage. Yeah, I had a Thai massage recently and it was a bit like this where we lifted everywhere. Was she strong? Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. I want to go to the ones where they like stand on you holding like the pole in the sky and they go jump, jump, jump. That sounds terrifying. Well, I don't know if you, I like hard massage, like quite deep sports. Okay, let's do this quickly. Okay, and hold. Okay, drop. Okay, so lymphatics we're going to do. All right. Just want to feel for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, doesn't mean if it's painful.
to lift your legs up again. Just hold. Okay, good. Stronger. So what you're going to just do is you're going to take a couple of fingers, just do it sort of just behind the ear, just there. Okay, and I'm going to do the bent leg one. And just look towards that side. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to sit and hold. Okay. Am yeah. I going inwards? You going, yeah, inwards. Okay, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And hold. It's shaking, okay. And hold. That one's good, so just go back to this one again, and hold. No, definitely. Okay, so, um, other side now, so hold the other side. Okay, and hold. Mm -hmm. Okay, both sides. Okay, and hold. Okay. Let's quickly see, so just touch with the one hand again. Okay, and hold. Okay, and hold. Other side. Okay, yeah, so we hold. And the other way, this hand on the other side. Okay, and hold. Last one, hold. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Yeah, okay. So you're going to hold just under your ribs. I'm going to breathe in and then you'll hold it and then I'm going to use your leg again, okay? Okay. So that's, so when you breathe in you hold and then I'll do this, okay? Hold. Hey, okay. That's fine. That's just cranial work, so brain. So when I do this, you're gonna flex your feet and breathe in. And then when I release, you. Okay. So we'll do about six times. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and breathe in. And out. And in. And out. In. This is four. And then five. The last one. Okay, so same story. So hold your ribs again, breathe in. Okay, and hold. Nice. It's so quick and simple, isn't it? Um, 
light is so nice. <laughs> I know, I call it the kitty lamp, like a cat that goes to the fire. <laughs> you just relax. Yeah. Alright, so let's just check this is in. Yeah, we'll do this one actually. And hold. Okay, so quite straightforward and simple. You're just going to look at this. A couple of seconds, I'm going to ask you to hold again. Yeah? Okay. Okay. And hold. Okay, nice and strong. So good. So you don't need that technique. Fabulous. And. I want to, okay, yeah, let's do this one. So you're going to do your head there, <laughs> right? What I'm going to do is going to try to scoop it out, right? So okay. you're going to hold it, okay? And then I'll do a bit of movement there. Okay, so hold. Hold. Okay, good, that's working. Okay, and hold. Hold. Okay, good. It's working. So don't need that one. Um, I call this the ballerina. Again, my words, not the true names. <laughs> um, you're going to put your one hand above your head, like the ballerina does, and then you're going to bend this one like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out like that, yeah? So obviously, I'm going to push out, so you push in. In, okay. Okay. So just get close as possible. Okay, so, and hold. Good, that's working, and we'll swap to your next performance. <laughs> this is like in the flatter. Is that possible? Yeah. Okay. And hold. Hold. Okay, good. It's perfect. So that's in working order. So your neck muscles are quite good, actually. That's good. I don't know if that surprises you or not. Yeah, it does, because they're, they're always really tight. So. Yeah. So again, what I've been doing, pulling your ears. Yeah. You can do that. Um, I'm going to just wiggle, waggle here. Just be there as well. Okay, let's hand it your side. Okay, and I'm going to do it again. Hold. Just fine. Let's try this side as well. Hold. Okay, let's get up. I'm just going to. Move you a little bit. Okay, and hold. Yeah, that's fine. The grounding and balance is good. Go echoes. Um, I think that's pretty good actually. Uh, I just want to check how much dosage for this one. So clear off everything. Okay, and hold. Drop. Okay, and again, hold. Okay. Hold. Okay, good. Okay, so that's two a day. And hold. Hold. Okay. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Very good session today. So we're just yeah. going to wind down so you can just relax and close your eyes for a minute.
<laughs> you want to sleep here? <laughs> Honestly, I would. I would genuinely fall asleep. Oh, if you like, oh, okay. Because um, there was a lot to do today, so summary, just to get you back in the room. Um, structural focused. We tested the stuff from your last session, so we tested mm. in the clear, so that's great. Um, supplements um, you tested for today, just one. Okay. Call it magnesium calmies. So it's something that will help support your muscles. Um, obviously, minerals obviously good for the brain. Um, so clear any clarity of thought, that kind of thing. But also just help uh, reduce cortisol, which is adrenal stress in the body. Okay. So I advise people to take it at night. Right. You tested for two uh, servings a day. So we'll just take. It's really nice. Just do two servings and a little bit of water. Drink it before bed. But I'll tell you that separately when text okay. um, and then a back flower which is called chestnut bud so just learning from past mistakes obviously anything's about thoughts that kind of thing mm. um, and then yeah so obviously from today's session something noticeable in your right leg mm. um, we've done a lot of work in terms of strengthening it but I think um, more sessions for that will be beneficial mm. same thing like homework always helpful like um, like I say, just rubbing your feet up and down. Yeah. You can, like, you understand from lots of Chinese medicine things that you've done as well. The feet represent the body. The hands represent the body. The face represent the body, the ears. Mm -hmm. So whatever you do here, mm -hmm. like you saw I did, you can do on your hands as well. Okay. And very easy. You feel the crunchy bits work on it. Okay. And you'll see with time it will dissolve. And again, another thing, lymphatics. Um, just get two, three quid on Amazon exfoliation gloves and just really exfoliate, um, rule of thumb, exfoliate up, uh, if up, exfoliate up to the heart, not down. Right. Because that's how you clear your lymphatics. Obviously, like anything, make sure you drink enough water. Mm. I always say rule of thumb for every 30 kilograms a person is, try have one liter. Uh, okay. If, like, like matcha tea, for example. <laughs> Or you're having a lot of caffeinated beverages or high sugar intake or lots of heavy, oily, greasy food or dense yeah. food, then you'll need to compensate with more. Mm -hmm. um, and just, yeah, just getting into some form of more cardiovascular mm. intensive exercise. So right. it doesn't have to be high intensity like CrossFit, like, <laughs> but <laughs> don't go crazy. But just ensure that when you're exercising, you're just getting some. Um, raising in the heart rate right? Um, and just feel like that you could be slightly out of breath and it's like okay that's good Okay. Um, and then yeah I think that would also help because for me intuitively as well I just feel that you'll need to do some glute strengthening right. and fascial arter so even like a couple of like squats, squats. 10-20 a day don't push yourself, yeah, but do that while brushing my teeth or something. Yeah, try like, fit it in. Yeah, perfect. Like I say, always booby trap yourself with triggers. You go to the mirror, you like brush your teeth, and it's like, yeah, have it stacking. <laughs> yeah, like I say, because it's the only way it'll get done. Yeah, the same thing I learned from my chiropractor, because um, I tell everyone to get a toilet stepped up with toilet goings, but he always says just um, sort of do like a forward roll stretch whilst you're on the toilet. Um, so you can just really stretch out your back yeah because you'll sit there and almost like um, potty training or <laughs> routine training your body goes oh I need to do that because I'm here now that's smart it's like a good use of time yeah right <laughs> um, another one is always like when you're boiling your kettle just do side lunges as well just to stretch out because all the trauma or the inflexibility usually most mm. commonly is because of here, the pelvic floor, the hip flexors, it's all tight from here. And right. if you think of it as the central piece of the body, yeah. it's communicating to both sides. Um, so if we can get that loosened, then things will work better and flow better. Um, and you'll be more flexible as well. So, right, okay, yeah. so flexible's good. Yes. Being more like more like a ballerina. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a good goal. <laughs> Never aim too high. <laughs> I mean, I can do the pose now. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yes. Thank you.